Hey guys, it's me, Margo. I am back with another Strangerville remodel. This is part nine, the Dreamweaver's Way lot. This was a lot that was already inhabited by the, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of the family. It's like the eclectic something. I don't know, the three friends that are living together. So the weird thing about this house is there's only two bedrooms, but there's three people who I don't think any of them are sharing a room. I haven't done gameplay, so I'm not sure, like maybe two of them are dating, but I felt like everybody should have their own room. So I did kind of have to restructure upstairs a little bit, which we'll get to. So that was kind of strange. I kept going back and forth, like reading the synopsis for the family or the group or whatever. And it said three friends who moved and blah, blah, blah. So couldn't figure out why there was only two bedrooms upstairs and like two beds for three people. So that was strange. But anyways, very strange interior, <laughs> like just weird. All of them in Strangerville are just strange. So whether or not that was on purpose or because Maxis was a little lazy, I'm not sure. But an another repeat of kind of the other lots that I've done so far. And it's just like very minimal decorating in a bad way, I guess. So yeah, just like with the carpet up in the front room, the like geometric carpet and then just it's just weird so anyways I try to make the house look a little more cohesive it said in the family bio or the lot household whatever bio that they had been given large sums of money from their families before they came to Strangerville so I figured that the house would be pretty updated and nice looking with nice things but also kind of with their own personality as well so very nice big kitchen they're an artistic knowledge driven group of friends so lots of places to learn and read and study uh, throughout the house whether or not it's together or in their own spaces so um <clears throat> all these houses kind of have weird room structures some rooms are very very large some rooms are teeny tiny um and then the downstairs area the with like the angled walls it's just kind of hard to like decorate so I thought that a round table looked the best in this room not that a rectangular one looked bad but I thought this looked nice I ended up changing the dining room chairs later to look a little more modern but I liked the focal point that they had originally in this room with the fireplace so I went ahead and put a different fireplace there that I thought fit better with the structure of the house and then went with kind of a more modern um, living room setup I like the pastels mixed with the light wood tones. I think that looks nice and um, clean, but also warm, not stark like white wood with white with light colored walls does. So I think that, I thought that looked nice. A good place for them all to gather and watch TV here. And then here I changed the chairs. I think it looks kind of cool in there like with the, I don't know. I like the dining room. It's kind of different, but I think it looks really cool. So, um, I wish there was a bathroom downstairs. I thought after doing the upstairs that I might do another bathroom since there's three people sharing one bathroom, but it's not that bad and it would have been hard. I would have had to probably put it behind the stairs and then extend the back of the house and I didn't feel like doing that. <laughs> so um, this is kind of a weird room up here. Again, like I said, like lots of large rooms and then tiny awkward rooms. So this is like not only the entryway, but a room. So... One of the Sims is a book room, so I a bookworm, so I thought having a room with a large bookshelf would be nice, and a couple chairs to kind of serve as an entryway, also purposeful for reading. I don't know, it's just a weird, strange room, but up here is the weirdest. So we have this huge bathroom up there on the right, and then another bathroom right next to it, but I couldn't make the bathroom a room because you have to go through another room to get to that room. So I end up restructuring a little bit like you see here and making it so you can access that room from the, from the hallway where the stairs are. And I just realized I left a door leading from one room to the other and I probably should have deleted that. Or maybe I did. I don't think I did. So that door should probably be deleted. But anyways, it looks better now. The bathroom is still large enough. I mean, it's not huge like it was before, but before it was way too big. So now there's three rooms upstairs for all three people to have their own space. So this is the first room. This is Mark's room. He is, I can't remember all of his traits. They're all like kind of artistic in some way. I kind of pictured him, pictured him being a little more of like a entertainment movie buff, kind of into like programming and things. 
and he has a lot of like movie posters in his room and a computer and stuff so like a high powered computer I think I switch out the computers later but that just seemed kind of yeah and I've done I swear I've used like this exact same furniture and color scheme in like five rooms before but I really like blue and orange I mean they're complementary colors and I think they look nice together and I think it's just a cool room and it's the smallest room actually I think but I think it still looks cool and then this is Alice's room it gets a lot less girly in a second don't worry <laughs> I was like realizing everything was pink it looked like a 12 year old room so Alice is very creative and in, into painting and um, I think nature maybe or something. I can't remember, but, um, she has lots of plants in her room, lots of color. She has an easel and lots of paintings and that's her thing. So I love this room. Like if I had to, if I could decorate my room, my own room in Sims, it would look a lot like this. Yellow is my favorite color and I love yellow with navy and I love all the bright colors and I think it's pretty. So this is what my room would look like in real life. If I could decorate it any way I wanted, it would look really similar to that. Okay. And then this is the other girl's room and I can't remember her name the blonde one what's her name I already forgot anyways this is her room and I decided she wanted to be really into El Savada Rada Rada I can never remember how many syllables are in that Savadorado Salvadorado I can't remember she's into like archaeology and things like that so this is her room and it's a pretty cool room lots of eclectic little knickknacks from Savada Rada Rada and uh she has a little laptop instead of a big computer so she can take it with her when she travels. So she travels a lot and I think her room is really cool. I think I forgot to put curtains up though. I don't remember. But anyways, I love, I love this room and I love the furniture from the World Adventures pack or the island. What's it called? World Adventure? Journey something? I don't know. Um, I think it's pretty cool. And she has her little archaeology table here and lots of artifacts. So that's her room. And then the little bathroom, it's not like too small, but it's big enough for three people. I think, like I said, it would have been nice to be able to like fit in a like half bath, maybe downstairs, like just a toilet and a sink, but I don't know. It wouldn't be too hard to do if you decided to do that. So there's another little tiny room up here and I think it had like a bookshelf and a chair, but I already have that downstairs. So first I thought about putting a foosball table and then I was like, nah, it'd be good like music room, you know? for everybody to use. It's a common space. There's no door. It's like an archway. So it's a nice open area to practice music. So I figure maybe all of them would kind of be into music. So there's like different types of instruments and a microphone in there for some artistic expression. So cute little room. I like the upstairs. I like the way it turned out. The restructuring was easy in order to make three accessible rooms. And I think it looks good. Um, I do wish I had deleted that room leading from the blonde girl I can't remember her name her room into Alice's room but whatever it's not a big deal so backyard it had like a grill and that was it so kind of added a little bit more of an outdoor space with some lights and a bigger grill and a table and everything and then there's some planters out back for some homegrown herbs and veggies so that's pretty cool and then I moved there was a bench kind of out back I moved it just kind of more towards the front rather than having a planter right up front and then there's a little horseshoe pit and just some fun things to do outside to enjoy the outdoors. And that's pretty much it. I'm um, going to move into the creative sim portion after this. Oh yeah, I wanted to add more windows. I hate that you can't layer windows. I wish you could, but you can't. So it's fine. Um, yeah, here's the kind of after portion. There'll be some photos too at the end, but this is just me taking the photos, which I kind of like to leave in just so you can kind of see the layout rather than like the chunks piece by piece so I think it turned out really nice I'm glad I was able to have three separate bedrooms upstairs for space for each of the sorry my dog's barking uh for each of the inhabitants so this is them this is Mark and he's um like I said kind of a movie buff programmer type of guy um he's friend of the world art lover bookworm cheerful so I thought that was kind of a cool combo with being kind of a nerdy um, computer geek person because you know a lot of people that are into like movies and programming are also into like books and literature and art and all that it kind of all comes together in like the form of a movie or, or a video game so that just kind of made sense to me and yeah um, didn't change much about his appearance I liked the dreadlocks and um, he was an attractive looking dude so I didn't change much about his 
body type or anything like that. So kind of left that and just changed his outfits a little bit. As per usual, the summer and winter outfits are just a hot mess, <laughs> which like isn't a big deal. I've talked about it in my videos before. It's like, it's kind of funny, but like the combinations they put together are just like so funny to me. Like it's just totally randomized. There's no like set like, oh, this looks good with this. None of that. It's just randomized and it's just so funny to me. Okay, so this is Alice. Um, she's the painter. So I decided to make her look a little more creative rather than like stranger villy, <clears throat> if that makes any sense. So I gave her like the colorful hair and, you know, kind of more artistic looking colorful outfits and things like that. And just something more fun. Like obviously they wanted to put her in like this Strangerville like new outfits, but I just didn't think it fit with her personality. So I changed it. But yeah, so she's just kind of a creative painter gal who is also a bookworm and into music so they are all just very I don't know eclectic I think that was the name of the house was it eclectic something eclectic something I don't remember but anyways so that's Alice and I did leave some of the Strangerville stuff like I love these shorts so much they're so cute so I left those but her winter and summer outfits weren't that bad surprisingly um unlike what's his face Mark, these are pretty bad. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, I think she looks cute. I like the stripy hair. I think it's cute. It's like a good color, like color scheme. It's not like too crazy, like the pink and blue and yellow, but it's still kind of fun. So Leslie, that's her name. I could not remember her name for the life of me. Leslie, this is Leslie. She looks 45 <laughs> and she looks like, okay, not to be rude, but like she looks like she already has like the sickness before doesn't she? didn't she i feel like she did but anyways i changed it. she's the only one that i really like changed her face but i just thought she was kind of scary looking like like she already had the whatever you want to call it <clears throat> in stranger room so anyways changed her a little bit to look a little more youthful and she is the traveler she wants to visit el savada rada rada and study um what's it called archaeology is that right yeah, so that's her. So she has kind of like a safari type outfit from the World Adventures or whatever it's called pack. I get it wrong every single time and I apologize, but I just never remember to look up what it's called. So yeah, um, lots of the um, outfits from that pack for her. And <clears throat> I don't know, I've, I've done the pack, the World Adventures pack. It's just not my favorite. I feel like I always get lost and then I'm trying to find... A specific thing and then I get to the end and I'm like this took me like an hour but I don't know I think I feel like I'm not doing it right or I'm getting lost or something because I don't know but it's fun like like studying all this stuff is fun I really don't like this furry sweater at first I thought it was super cute and now I just think it's weird it reminds me of a ghillie suit or a gully suit or whatever it's called where they like wear it and hide in the field <clears throat> excuse me it just freaks me out but it's fine it's part of the strangerville pack so i figured she should wear it but i like her overall outfit i think she looks like safari chic you know so that's them um the eclectic friend group who all actually have their own bedroom now which i thought it was so strange that they didn't that room that room was so weird the kitchen was weird it was a weird house like what is that two chairs for three people in the house like it was like there was only two people living there and that huge bathroom I just don't get it it was such a weird house but anyways I think it's a lot better now personally so we have a nice um, music room a good living room for people to actually all sit and hang out a cute kitchen a cute dining room and everybody has their own bedroom which is so exciting so again that's Mark's room this is the hallway Alice's room and Leslie's room so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel so you know when I post new videos. Hit the bell notification so you can see my latest Strangerville remodel. I will be uploading another one soon. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.